Hi, I'm Mario B, and I'm here with another Japanese subscription box for you. And this time that box is... Dun, 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 dun. Okashi Connection Spring Box Number 1111. One, one, one. And I say Spring Box Number 1 because now they're... Um, it's, it's what it's called. They're changing their um the names of the boxes for whatever reason i think because you know they always send you a month behind like when you get your april box it's may or something like that so i think that um they just wanted to do it differently so that people wouldn't feel like left out or behind or something i don't know so that's what we're doing and as usual Poopik has to be in the gingerbread house scratching away because i started this video up so thanks Poopik. this is going to be the last uh Samurai box that we get from uh, Okashi Connection because I was finally able to secure a small box Which is the premium size box and um actually, Since we're so behind I already have it over here on the stack to do and I've got one more to do before that one So I will be bringing you the small box next. Um, so yeah, we have Rilakkuma. They look like pretzel sticks to me And that's what it's called crunchy pretzel sticks honey butter taste Rila Kuma is a famous character. Name is mashup of Relax and Kuma, which is bear in Japanese. So, I haven't had these in a while. I feel like I have had these before. So cute. Little pictures of Rila Kuma on the package. <laughs> Smells like honey butter. Good. Very simple. I mean, there's no, there's no coating, so they're very um, mild. But yeah, good. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we have two little things here. They look the same. We got panda faces on them. And this is called Pandaro. Uh, the green is a melon cookie, and the black is a butter cookie. Crisp cookies. Okay, seems pretty simple. So let's try the butter cookie. Because I like butter cookies. Oh, it's so cute. There it is. Little panda face for you. not as buttery as like the shortbread you know tins of butter cookies that you give everybody um, around Christmas time it's not as buttery I'm um, still really good though so just a reference point this is in one piece too this is great it actually does kind of smell like melon which is crazy hmm <laughs> yeah it's weird generally you don't get melon flavored cookies at all so this is really a unique flavor um it's good yeah good i mean i don't love melon to begin with but um melon cookies pretty damn good so now mm, we have this which looks a little intimidating this is called yakisoba niniku max fried noodle crisps with extreme garlic taste Package warns to eat when alone and be courteous not to assault others with the garlic smell. Ha ha. It says ha ha. Okay. Well, I am alone, except for the cats. That's alone. Chase. Mm-hmm. All right, so you got a bunch of, uh, bunch of these looking things. They look like ramen noodles. It's, uh, it's a little garlicky. Mm. It tastes garlicky. Not a great follow-up to the two butter cookies I just eat. I just ate, but um, it's damn garlicky. Woo! <clears throat> Good, but yeah, it is an extreme flavor that you definitely. I mean, unless you and your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever are, like, totally fine with kissing each other um, with garlic breath. Otherwise, if you're worried about offending someone, do not eat these. What we have up next is some kind of gummy. 
This is what it looks like. Puyo Puyo Gummy. Soft type gummy. Flavors are grape, muscat, apple, peach, lemon, and soda. Alrighty. Very pretty. All kinds of colors in Alright, so here's a bunch of the colors. Very nice. Let's try the grape, which I'm sure are the purple. Really pretty. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's try the lemon, because I like lemon too. I guess this is lemon. No, you know what? It's probably not. It's probably soda. I got like a clear one. Yeah, that's probably a soda one. Okay, so I got one that looks like an alien. <laughs> that's got to be the lemon. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, nice. Simple little gummy. All right, so we've got something Pokemon related. <clears throat> this is limited edition on the picture, too. It says, Curry Pori Candy. Flavors are Mix, Aule, and Psycho Soda. Ties in with Pokemon games, game items. QR code above links to a story. Scroll down a bit to see explanation of the two flavors. Hmm. Or I could just pop one in my mouth. So I'm assuming because on the box there is blue and yellow, one is probably Ramune and one is probably lemon. So maybe. We'll try one of each because they've got a few packages here. They got a total of six. So we'll try the yellow first. And there's two of these sticks in each. It's candy. Okay. So I guess you eat it. I thought it was gum for some reason. Oh. You better warn somebody before that. This is like banana. Hmm. It's like banana, but kind of a little kicky. Okay. So the blue one. These are like candy cigarettes. That's what they look like to me. You know when you were little and they actually made those candy cigarettes and you were like... Or whatever, because I've never smoked in my life, so I have no clue if that's right, but whatever. Yeah, this is Ramane. So this is Ramane and the other one is um banana, I'm assuming. Mm. Ugh. I don't really care for that. Alright, so next up is the Koala No March. Cookies with cream filling, custard pudding flavored cream. New flavor just released in February. That was a while ago, but uh, I'm sure it doesn't matter. I'm sure the exp uh, expiration date is good. One of 2017. We're good, we're good. All right, so as usual, you've seen these a bunch before if you've watched any of my videos. I've just got a bunch of koalas. Koala cookies with different koalas doing different things. He's reading, he's, uh, I don't know, meditating or something on here. You've just got different, uh, maybe I'll just hold it up that way. Is it easier? There's one, two. Aw. <laughs> okay. I thought these would be full, but they are not full. Mmm. I don't love the flavor. It's got a weird aftertaste to me. Mmm. I don't know. I'll maybe save them for my husband. Maybe he'll like them. But, um, I don't care for them too much. So next up, I know we got these back in Halloween. Before these are uh, those candy stamper things, it's kind of weird and out of place in a spring box, especially because it's got a uh, Dracula and the mummy on the front. So right there, it kind of it kind of dates it, you know. Monster stamp, cola flavored, hard, but once you bite in, dissolves nicely. You can press it on your tongue to make a stamp. All right, so I'll give you like you know, like four, yeah, four. This one has a witch. This one has a witch or a skull. Well, I guess it's a witch. That one has a witch. All witches, okay. Here's a green one. 
I, I can't see it in the, uh, I can't see it. Uh. I think the ones we had before, I don't think they were cola flavored. I don't remember. I want to say they were grape, but I'm not sure. Mm. Not that great. Huh. It's not worth it. I might be, it might be fine for a little kid, but you know, if you're looking for a, a neat Japanese treat, I wouldn't consider this one of them. Next thing up I see, it looks like something chocolate and it's got, is that Doraemon? Here it is. Umai. Shimiko. Oh. Okay. This is called Umai Shimikomi Choco. Chocolate flavored rusks. Crispy with a light, slightly powdery texture, light chocolate taste. Alrighty. Definitely smells uh cereally. Dang. So that's what it looks like. Just a little disc. Airy. Basically like corn, a corn snack, I think. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Which is weird because my finger still smells like the garlic chip. This is wonderful. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. This is excellent. It's just the right amount of chocolate and then just the right amount of, um, corn rusk, I guess. Fantastic. So this looks interesting. Um, here's what it is. <clears throat> this is called Hore Hore Choco. Dig through the chocolate to find gummy artifacts. Each artifact is worth points. And then they have a list of all these different things you're supposed to dig through. This is really neat. Dig through the chocolate. Okay. So it comes in this. I hope they give you something to dig through. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I don't know if it was supposed to be like this, but anyways, this is what it turned out to be. One giant melted mess. Ugh. Let's see. I guess I could just break one off. It says dig through it. Oh, here's something. Here's a gummy. Oh, I'm all gross now. Oh, what is this? This is a snake! This is a snake. Uh, I am getting so full of chocolate right now. Uh, oh, what is this? Or is it, a, is it a giraffe? It's a fossil or a dinosaur. It's kind of like a T-Rex. First I thought it was a snake. It's a gummy of some sort. You can't even see, I know you can't. It's full of chocolate and, ugh. I'm gonna call this a huge dinosaur so I get $300 million for this. Sweet. Ah. I still have one more thing to do in the box. Ugh. And it says down at the bottom, if the gummy is super sour, it's fake, so only five points. Okay. I kind of want to go through the rest of this, but I still have one more thing to get through. So we'll do it real quick. That's what this is. Pipari peanut butter. Mmm, peanut butter. Very slightly salty with peanut butter flavor. Unique mix of salty and sweet, crunchy. Okay. Ooh, it definitely smells peanut buttery. I'll tell you that. So, it looks like a corn pops, really. As you can see, it looks like flattened corn pops because corn pops are a little bit smaller. That is unique. It's good. I mean, it's just unique. I would definitely say it's more salty than sweet, but if de it definitely has some sweetness to it. It's so unique. Oh my, I like that. Uh, yeah, so I've got the rest of this to go through. I see another gummy here. Ugh, I'm just, I'm just doing this all for you guys watching. I really don't want to be taking a bath in chocolate right now. Some kind of square artifact. It's a scroll. <coughs> 9.5 million. <laughs> you can't see it, but 
Uh, yeah, it's a scroll. I know that for sure. Okay, cool. Crown. 50 mil. Hello, 50 mil. Cool. Now, I'm just going through this melty chocolate and picking out the gummies so I can tell you what they are. Isn't that sad? I have no clue what this is. A fossil. I guess it's a fossil because you could you could find a fish fossil. So we'll say this is 150 million. All right. Okay. And there's one more. Yay! So much fun digging through this. Ew! Ew! Ow! Ow! Now! Ow! Now! 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 This looks like a turtle. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, so that was so much fun. Mm. Chocolate fingers. Okay, so my favorite thing in this box <laughs> were these chocolate rusks. Mm. Good. I don't know how I'm gonna turn this camera off. So yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, that's it for now. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.